Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. God isn't fair. Thank God. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Young people, older folks, parents, pastors, youth leaders, you like our videos? Like, ring the bell, subscribe. Help us pass the faith on to the next generation. Donate. Tax deductible. You love the ministry. That's the best way to help. Give a monthly gift. A monthly gift. It's about the children and the faith being passed on. Bad things happen. Hey, Thor. Ooh, overthrow. Bad things happen to us. We do bad things. Or we don't do anything and awful things happen. Someone we love gets sick. Children get sick. That's the worst kind. And we feel like that we should get something because we're at least trying and we get nothing. It's like the workers in the vineyard yesterday. They thought they deserved more because they had worked more. And especially when kids get sick, we want to look at the situation and look at God and go, you're not being fair. A daughter has special needs. Rare genetic disorder. Super rare. She will never talk. She heart, She can, It's a miracle that she walks. She walks like a velociraptor. And she's probably going to die before I do. Not fair. She's 17 and looks like she's five. She will never get married, never do prom, never that. Not fair, God. Well, is it so bad that God is unfair? The place to start is what we deserve. We deserve punishment. Since the fall, we deserve death. We are full and chock full of sin. We do everything. Often. Nice catch. Thor, you had to go low to get it. We think we're good, but we're not. We think we're faithful, but we're not. We think we deserve more, but we're self-centered. And the truth is, if God gave us what we deserved, it would be a real, hot, no-God universe called hell. But I'm basically a good person. Could you be so self-centered that you'd be so clueless how self-centered you are? Just a thought. I know I am. I'm still astounded how self-centered I am. Right, Thor? Bad throw. We are saved by the unfairness of God. You see, God chooses to not treat us as we deserve. God chooses to not harbor anger that we merit. God chooses to not look at us and go, he did it deliberately, she did it deliberately. God instead takes all that we've done and haven't done and puts it on his son and gives his son the hell that we deserve. That is unfair. And then he chooses, because he's such a good God, to give us what his son deserves. Eternal life, salvation, the mercy and grace of Almighty God, his unmerited favor. That we get heaven is unfair. That God is good to us in this life is unfair. That God loves us is unfair. Because we don't deserve it. And we are so lost, so out of whack that we don't even understand <laughs> he just flat out missed that we don't even understand how awful we are to him and yet he gives up his son for us my daughter is sickly I don't think I would give up time with my daughter to save someone else and that's awful and God does it for a world that throws spitballs at him. He gives up his son. That is the salvation of the God who is unfair. 
praise God for such a God. Because if he treated us like the Mormon God or the Islam God or, uh, or, or, or the JW God, we would be lost. No soup for you, no planet for you. But instead, in the mercy of God, he gives to you his son and he saves you. And he saves you in the next life. But he also saves you right now to change your perspective, to change the way you see the universe, to praise him for his unfairness. That my daughter is a gift to everyone who meets her and her witness lifts others up. One day, she will dance and skip and jump in front of the throne of God and he will look at her and say, well done, good and faithful servant. Not because you were too special needs to do good and evil or no good and evil but because I gave up my son for you because you are baptized into my son's name and you're a, a tree that grew in that tree you were fruit that was joy in the life of others think about that the next time you face something totally and completely awful that God has saved you and rescued you and given you the out in the suffering and death of Jesus. He is not fair. Praise God. He does not treat us as our sins deserve. Praise God. He saves us despite us in Christ Jesus. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.